Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? Today, you're probably wondering why my face looks like this. I only have concealer, some concealer on to thin spots. I have Ipsy. And you guys know, as I go, I put on Ipsy products. And one of them is foundation brush. And let me go through real quickly what I got. I got this foundation brush, which is, hold on. I wrote down everything. I'm going to go through everything what I got and then I'll put it on whatever I can apply on my face or on my hands as I go. Okay, where are you brush? I have everything written down on sticky notes. Do, do, do. Sticky, sticky. Foundation brush. It's a Luxie brush. I'm a little disappointed because everybody got Lisa Frank and I love Lisa Frank but I do like Luxie brush and I do like the color because it's not the p normal pink one. The bristles are soft. So far I haven't been disappointed by Luxie brushes. This is a 660 brush. It's worth $23 or it is $23 and Ipsy has a code called Ipsy 660. I don't know how much to take off. I think it's like 30% off from it. But I'm going to apply the foundation with this brush today. They got this bag. I'll talk a little bit about this bag before I jump into more. The only reason I had this because it was outside the bag. Okay. Talk for a minute about this bag. It's a cute little bag. It's different. It's a ticket. I guess the theme is circus or something. I don't know. I didn't I don't sometimes don't pay attention to their story outline but it is a cute bag their bags are different each month which I like eh, it's different I don't know if I'll put it anywhere in my purse or anything like that but I do like it I might give it to one of my nieces see if they want it all right jumping in and my little sticky notes I went and wrote the names of it all the how much they are worth I try to do that. Next is the White Company London in Shashelli's. It's hand and nail cream. Let me see if I can smell it because I tried yesterday and it didn't work because my allergies. It smells pretty good. It's Bermont, Amber, Vanilla, and I think on the site said there's almond in it too. The full size is $25 on it. They had other products too. Um, let me feel what it feels like. I don't have lotion me on my hands. It's not too thick. It is pretty fragranced. I don't know. The smell might bug me. I don't know. I do like it. It'll be a minute before I get to this lotion because I have other lotions I need to get to. But I do like it so far. We'll see how the scent bothers me later on, even though my nostrils are messed up. Next, I got a nail polish. Defy and Inspire. Uh, this one's in Paradise Island. It's as beauty is our responsibility. Defy the ordinary. Inspire the extraordinary. Five free, no DBP, no tolerance, no formaldehyde, no formaldehyde resin, or camphor. Um, most of that, I don't know what it is, except for the formaldehyde. I read in another nail polish, I think it was, I don't remember what it was. It had formaldehyde, and I'm like, ah, this is a nail polish, are you freaking kidding me? But that's the color. It's almost similar to what I'm wearing. So I might put this up and give it to someone else since I have a similar color. Is there a different smell to it? Sometimes they have different smells. Nope. But it's a pretty color. It's a little darker, actually. Um, when I went to click it to get information on it, because on the site on Ipsy, you can click for more info. And. It sent me to a Target site. I was like, what, what is this? And I couldn't find the product anywhere. So I had to, I did it, redid it, and send me to a Target again. So I redid it. I'm like, why is it sending me a Target? Well, it is a Target product. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. So I had to search through the bar. They didn't, I couldn't find the color on there. 
but they had the other one. Um, it's seven forty nine. This brand, and you can get it at Target. I don't know in the store, but it's online, and they have other colors, so it's pretty easily accessible, which is neat. It's always neat to have accessible products that you get through a subscription as well. Next, I have uh, Hikari. I think I say it right. Is a cream pigment. I was gonna get the other one, but I got another one a few months back. It was a, a gold. This one's a pinkish color. Uh, what's the name of this? Honey Dew. I'll put this one on today. This is a eyeshadow. I went online. Um, this is thirteen dollars for the full size. Full size is like in a jar. There is a discount code called Ipsy30, and that's pretty much it. I got another one. The other one is bronze, but I wish they would give a little bit different than this flimsy little mess that they do, but what can you expect, I guess? It is what it is, but I will be putting that on, and then next we have cream gel from uh, ColourPop. I don't have this from ColourPop or any of this type of thing from ColourPop. I only have the lipsticks, the liquid lipsticks and eyeshadows and I recently just got the press. It's a brown. I don't normally wear brown but I'm going to apply that on today too. So we'll see how I'm going to put that together. Alright. I am going to put on foundation with the brush. Right now, I'm gonna speed. I have it on, I finished, I stopped doing it after a while because you guys got the concept okay this is what I normally apply it with this flatter blush this is more fluffier um I do like this one better it goes on easier this one doesn't this one makes it more streaky this is from Bastini something like that this one makes it more fluffier my face looks like crap because <clears throat> it's crap lately my face has been breaking out I get it better and then it doesn't break out and then it breaks out and then it doesn't but this one does a more <clears throat> I guess kind of like a beauty blender look I guess and this one makes it more streakier so I like this one better than this one um all right let me get on to the next thing that part on I'm gonna use this the cream pigment now I'm going to put that on the lid. It's a pinkish shimmer. I'm going to use a flat brush for that one. Where are you, flat brush? I'm going to use my Catwoman brush. Put some on there. Smear it around. Try not to block off the camera. So it didn't pick up enough. <clears throat> so for my thoughts on everything, I like the lotion. We'll see. The scent is not as strong anymore. It smells like a perfume almost. Uh, the foundation brush I like better than the one I had. Have so I'm gonna probably switch out and toss that one because, or just keep it as an extra. No polish. I like the color, but I have something already similar to it, so I might just put it aside. So far, I like this. It's just not as... It's pretty bright, I guess. It's a pink-ish shimmer. Can you guys see it okay? It's kind of gloomy out today, so it's not as... It's not sunny here in Bipolar Bakersfield. Ugh, man. 
This video is going to be a little long. Sorry, guys. But I like to put on the makeup because it makes it... I, if I'm going to use the makeup, which I know this is one color I like, I'm going to... I like applying it. See how it goes. Makes things a little bit easier and a better understanding of the product. Because you can swatch it. But applying it is another story. So far it's applying pretty well. I think. What do you guys think? Pretty good. It's not very clumpy. Well, my eyes are all blurry. I need my glasses. Alright. That one does pretty well. Next, I'm going to try this. I haven't tried these. Have you tried the ColourPop? I've seen, I watched the videos. There's videos on um, Ipsy about how to apply it. There's different colors. They had a brown, which I got. This is Best O. They had a blue and they had a another one. I don't remember what it is. The blue they were do, able to do a cat eye. This one they were, they brought it up and put it in the crease. I'm not doing that. I'm just going to put it down here on the bottom. It goes on smooth. bring some up I'm shaking it like it's a liquid eyeliner I'm used to using liquid eyeliner most of the time did you find a helicopter No, baby, not right now. Okay. Don't get dirty. Ah, it broke. What broke? Well, that's horrible. That's one no no. I don't like these roll up ones. I really don't. People love them. My sister likes them. I personally don't. I like the sharpening ones. And that's exactly why I do not like the roll up ones. Because I have a very heavy hand, not intentionally, it's because I have carpal and I have a little bit of arthritis. Yes, 28 years old, already dealing with that stuff. I have dealt with it for a long time already. Not bad, it's pretty. I just don't like this. Yeah, I need the you. There goes checking again. All right, I am giving up on the rest of this. I'm just gonna put my mascara. But I already broke up quite a bit. There's still a good amount in there. If you don't more, I don't want to break it anymore. He's pretending he's on the phone. Whoever <laughs> he's talking to, he's mad at. Um, I'll be right back. Let me put my mascara on right. real quick. Sorry, I'm back. Okay. This video is a little bit longer. I'm sorry. But, um, overall view of this, I like this bag from Ipsy. I give it a five, pretty much. 
Oops, I forgot to put the lid back on here. Um, the nail polish I like, but I won't use because I have a similar color. Come here, you. I have a similar color, but I like it. It's n nothing I wouldn't use. Um, the lotion I like, nothing I wouldn't use. The scent isn't too crazy. It's not floral. And the vanilla isn't overpowering or anything like that. I don't like just straight vanilla scents. Uh, the bag is cute. I like the bag. This, the Hikari is cute. Don't like the packaging, but the pigment's cute. I think it went on pretty well. What do you guys think? I think so. That one, really cute. Um, the brush, where did the brush go? Where'd you go, brush? Don't hide from me. I lost the brush. Can I put it back in here? Ah, there it is. Brush. <clears throat> I like. It went on better with this one compared to my other one. The flatter brush. From Vestini or whatever it's called. That's a good. He's on one today. He's on one. Next, I have the ColourPop eyeliner. I haven't tried one before, so it's exciting. I normally don't wear... Juan! Juan! I don't normally wear brown, but it's a pretty color. I normally don't wear brown, but it's a pretty color. I don't mind it. I Only downfall, as you see, it. I don't do well with the roll-up eyeliners. It breaks on me. And... It broke twice, but it went on pretty well, though, uh, besides that. And uh, that, what, I would like your guys' thoughts, your opinions, or whatnot. <clears throat> the prices on them are okay. I don't think I'd buy anything besides maybe a different color in this. Um, the Luxie brushes I do like. The nail polish, since it's at Target, I probably might buy it, but I don't know if I'll buy it for $7. And that's pretty much it. You guys have a great day. Thank you for watching.